Wait, what is this? I'm just, I'm just better than serious. Do you see it? Tell me if you can. Well, I'll just t I need this. Just tell me how laggy it is, bot. Two times speed in that, actually. You can just hold it and then make it two times speed. Hold it, hold the screen. Maybe that will work. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting yeah, an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure. We've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <laughs> Kratos, I see something. Yeah, might just give me a sec, right? There you go. It was rushing it, but... Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. Well, but Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur, and so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. I'm not sure where we're going now. I think we're going back to the. Let us find a gateway. Yeah, back to the. Turn city. home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. No time I for that, man. There's unfinished business here at the lake, though. I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. <laughs> My choice is not for that. For you? No. Nah. Maybe buying something expensive will take your mind off it? Whatever you need. Always a joy to work on these. What can I make for you? <laughs> huh. That might
might be my best piece yet today. Take care of your armor, and it'll take care of you. Bro, how do I only have one ready from the HO base? That's crazy. Uh, I'm just gonna upgrade real quick. Had to use my 30 gems off. Man, bro, I have no XP. Dude, I haven't gone to the gym in like two hours. Tell me this power. He sees the future. More like he needs to pass them. Seize their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Ask the boys. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear. What's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Neethog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise yeah, them, not, not, the little rascals important. are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaves. All that said, I'm happy to discuss anything else on your mind. I am already here, Master Kratos. Perhaps there was some confusion. This is for calling me out here, not for when I am here. Do you just like hearing the sound of the child? I suppose they do sound very pretty. Master Kratos, this feels very uncharacteristic of you, but if you enjoy the pretty chimes that much, I will allow you to indulge. Yes, you've done it. Well, bro. Ah, the sound of the chimes is not unpainful at this distance, so perhaps you could not. Already here, as it were. So, I see you're deliberately attempting to push me into some sort of emotional outburst, aren't you? Well, I'm not so easily swayed, my dear man. Stop, stupid chime! Oh, oh dear, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> You're back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. 
Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin didn't blame me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. I will help me kill Heimdall. Does you Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good Odin's left hand and he carries the horde that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention we'll have to visit... the lady. Oh. Whew, that's a relief. <laughs> Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. See you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. No, oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your fret. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no. Shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What 
was all that then? Oh, just Sentry trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. Oh. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a Learman making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock <laughs> came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. Go on. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. <laughs> so, a tunnel for liquor and explosives. Yes, the for the nose, for the woman culture, isn't it? Ridiculing the culture you helped undermine. <laughs> Classic Aesir. Oh, all right. Might have earned that one. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. Ridiculing the culture you helped undermine. Classic. All right. Might have earned that one. Come on, Kratos, get up! 
in sleeping bag. Wait, are you like perfectly timed? Wait, talk. Oh, take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh, dear. It's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just... Man, you're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the face of Ragnarok and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who fought wars against God and won. I am not their champion. We're each entitled to our opinion. <laughs> Seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixer. Error 
arrows should work with ice as well. <coughs> <coughs> Fuck, how I hit it. Oh. Twilight Storm, we can use that. What? Uh, I clapped out, but it's not his fight. Okay. Just wake up, though. Don't worry. Don't sleep. Sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We need to get one of those gates open. Damn it. Yeah. How do I get in there? Ah, you've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? That word. Shall this we? opinion of yours. Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods, you haven't. Or else, what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. Stop! 
Now, where have they got the third one hidden away? Demi, are you in bed? Get out of bed. Get out of bed if you're in bed. Careful, those Grim are possessed by nightmares. They'll be even more dangerous until we stun them. Just try. A little bit better. Come on, mate. Come on. We won't play until we Just a little bit. Come on, mate. Show me your face, Bob. Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not... Show me your face, Bob. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. Show me your face, Bob. Oh my god, nah, nah, nah. Get out of that. You're, obviously you're in a bed like that, bro. Come on, man. Send your chair. Otherwise, I'll be no point in me praying for my. Are you watching on your phone or your laptop? Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants. Right, well, just the chair, like. Nearly wiped them out of existence. Twice. Like you'll be seeing this. Now they may have a role to play in stopping them once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that your wife would have been not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secret haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. But she knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw this is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not the most. Hey! You're sleeping again, Jack. Can't. Stop fucking over. You're sleep I can hear you sleeping. Well, what about your baby's staff? 
for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. Look. I wasn't trying to provoke you and cast doubt on you. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about Oh, dude, dude, when we get out of here, I'll <laughs> stop lying like that. Obviously, you get a floor of sleep. Just start listening a little bit more, and then you have like such a good sleep. Just like, just like sit up in your bed or something. Don't lie down like that, bro. Obviously, you're gonna fall asleep. Yeah. You know? I know you can't, your one eye is, can't, you can't even see out of the other one because you're on the pillow. Go, sit up, bro. No, no I'm, I'm, pause. I'm pausing to you. To you. Sit up. Sit up, bro. Just sit up on your bed. Put your back against the wall. Bro, it's being forced to watch. No, no. Just put your bum to the back of the car. Oh, dude, your life is so hard. You have to watch YouTube. Like, what the fuck is going on? Okay, good. Meanwhile, I'll see what else you I can, can do while we're here. 
Maybe I'll send a few Ain Harryar back to Valhalla. Show me your camera back. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it. About time. I got oh. everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up the Bulky. You sure didn't go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. <laughs> what a prize he turned out to be, huh? <laughs> Yeah, it's better. Look at you, right? <laughs> Look like you're an interview. Uh, it's good, it's good, it's good. This is our posture back today. This, this is why I needed you to watch the fucking thing, cat. So, I'm gonna just start from the top. I'll see, just see how much you actually know. Because I'm not sure how much you do. So, we, Heimdall, in the last episode, Heimdall, we were, we were, the Norns told us Heimdall was gonna kill Atreus in Asgard. So we we're like, fuck, like, we need to kill Heimdall. But Heimdall is like, like, Mimi has never even seen someone touch Heimdall before. So we're just like, how the fuck are we going to kill him? The dwarf said, we can use this thing called Dropnir, which is that little ring thing that he had. We can use it and like make him weapons that might be able to kill Heimdall. So now we're in Svartalfheim, so the land of the dwarves, to make this weapon to kill Heimdall. Did, that, did, did, you, uh, did you already know that? Svartalfheim, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I didn't know all that. Unintended, yes. I imagine. Okay, cool. Just there. Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. You never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, what's your nattering? Sucking mommy milk sops with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. <laughs> Brother, 
Did you notice the dwarves of a camp were twice as alarmed to see Thor than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this plane to Captain Tyler. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! Turn it. Copy that. Hey, I got the brain cover. You do the other stuff. Turn it again. Aye, aye. Once more. Aye, aye. What? If the angle you needed to find was down there, you would have found it already. Again. I bet I'm not fully. I don't know how to get through this. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Finally. Another runic attack. Hold it in, 
Probably going through like the biggest like torture of his life. You know, but like, those fucking. Why am I fun, dog? This part's really good. Just don't. Listen. Magical creature in this whole realm. Why I've been waiting for my chance to meet her. Text me if you're watching that. Text the. I mean, type in the chat. Lady, what does she do? Well, we'll see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. She doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from the taste of the <laughs> Now I need to <coughs> that bronze material over by all that busted <laughs> Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I boom drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. So effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me, man. All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn, and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. Where 
is my forge. of a god. Give her your hand. Your home was forgotten. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh. Hello? Hello? <laughs> the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion's cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck do you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done.
Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home. You got volunteers! What do you like? Fucking large. What the hell? Ain't this just like old times? Shouldn't we just make it more forebodingly myself? Isn't that lit though? Like, Sparta, you know, the first weapon they lit, like you said. The spear. one boy style. Now listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Rock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up there. Take me up! Left flight! Oh, lick my face! There's eyeball nests all over! Get your throwing arm in here! Thank 
Help boys, guys. The bigger, the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more and more <coughs> of events you become, but the larger their scope in your memory. No, as bollocks now that I see it. Never mind. Still my fault. you or anything you did not right uh you can bring that back to radicost group whenever you're ready <laughs> ah that's locked Period of time, perhaps. Mamiya. Very well. These ugly birds. Maybe those grim will take him down.
This shit, bro. How are you feeling? How tired are you right now? Maybe those Graham will take him down. How are you feeling?
Anyway, that's probably enough heart pumping for me today. You pick up the loot. I'll set up shop over yonder. <laughs> 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 Can I see how you'll be getting down from up here? Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end. And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. <laughs> Are you watching? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Oh shit. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard. <laughs> Sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever. Ours. Kind. You sure he's yours? A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. <gasps> and what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's trying to get in your head. Jesus. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Let's see what Brock made you.
Any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. Welcome, brother! <laughs> 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 like, what else are we supposed to do though? Like, a trans is gonna get killed by a hand I don't know what. Good job. Oh, fuck that, I'm not doing that round first. So this drop near spear, you're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. 
What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. That gravestone. There's a keyhole that looks to fit the hilt you found. And if I'm right, you best prepare for a fight. I'll just do this just to see what so you can see what this is. Actually, I'll quickly finish it. Right? Oh, I'll have one more go. <laughs> Especially one hit kill. Dead. Even now. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty tough. <laughs> Dead. Hey, big guy. Speak. Need you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon. No. A forge hammer. Mm. Little. Or oh, it used to be anyway. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the ain't her yards at you. The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just fuck. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Aye. Might be worth looking for Jarlin's hammer while we're at Your choice, of course. We'll just go home and then we'll see. Uh, then I'll just see what's done. Uh, see what, what we're doing in the next episode. Nah, I, don't I, that still the plan. I will protect my side. So, yeah. 
then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to me. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True. Though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. <laughs> She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So, we're just keeping blindly on then. Hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan? His right eye is bigger than his left.
Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? This way, Grumbles. Enjoy the gentle waves, little one. My father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe serene here. Game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? Me say, Faye. Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. He is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> to think the mighty god of war. Frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Faye. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Uh. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son.
in the arm. that wall ever do to you? Um, building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? <sighs> Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. Ugh! I can't give in to it. Three. Cool. Training without me? <laughs> Is that a, that a good idea? Training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea, but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Oh, no, <laughs> it didn't. That didn't hurt, also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh, grandfather. Right, okay. Uh, here, then take this. And, uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif, and uh, Atreus, see you later, Throod, bye, Throod. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. We can be... <coughs> the two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd. Mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later? I'll end it there, mate. Oh, man. Yeah. Two o'clock. Mm. Uh, 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 uh